So we're going to get started on page one. And again, I'm using different color construction paper so you can see better. So you're going to cut two flaps, nine and three eighths inches long by seven and a half inches tall. You are going to score it. So put it in your score scoreboard half an inch and five inch and then fold and burnish those so you're going to do that for both pieces so the way this is going to work these two flaps you're going to have one flap here that's going to be adhered to this end and then where you have the score scored here this one is going to be adhered to this end, like this. And then you're going to have this little gap in between. So you can go ahead and open it up and you're going to adhere this edge to here. Just get your score tape started. And going to line it up right there and hold it in place and just pull. That's one. Same thing on this side. Get the score tape started. Line it up. And I'm just, I'm not doing this as carefully as I normally would, but just showing you guys how to do it. Because normally I take a long, long time. And pull. So now you have your two flaps in there. And there's a little gap between the score mark and the end of this. You can see the end of this and there's a little space in between. So these flaps are going to be going in like this. So they're going to be opening up like that. So I'll show you what it's gonna look like. So we're gonna be adding this flap next. So here's your little flaps that we just put in and they're going to be opening up and opening up again. So that's what you're doing right now. You're just adding, doing this. Now we're going to make this little flap. So to make that center flap right here, you are going to cut one piece, seven and a half inches tall by three and three quarter inches wide. And you are going to score it on top here a half an inch and five eighths of an inch because we're going to form that tiny little gusset here, that one eighth of an inch gusset. So you're going to form your little gusset. So now we have our little, our little gusset there. Next, you're going to find the center of this piece. So there's my center of this piece right here. There's the center. And then you're going to measure one inch up from the bottom here put a little tick mark. Am I in frame? Am I in frame? <laughs> One inch up from the bottom here and put a little tick mark. So there's my one inch measurement there. And here is my one inch measurement here. Then you are going to 
draw a line from that one inch tick mark here to the center. on both sides. So one inch to the center dot there. And then you, oh my, oh my goodness, look how crooked I am there. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, let me do that again. Where's my dot? There's my dot. Oh geez, there's my dot. Jeez Louise, did I get it right? Yeah. Like I said, I'm doing this kind of on the fly fast. So, but you get the idea. Go from the center dot to the one inch tick mark. And then you are going to be cutting those straight lines from the center to this one inch mark on both sides. So I'm going to put it in my paper trimmer and I'll be right back. So before I put it in the cutter, I redrew my lines. So I've got it completely on the middle tick mark here and then one inch up. Much easier to, you can cut it with scissors or put it in your trimmer. So I've cut my little banner piece down here. So I've applied my score tape. Now you, what you want to do is find the center up here and I'm using ink just because I'm showing you how to do it. Obviously, you guys use pencil. Um, here is the center up here. Obviously, the center is down here at this point. And then you're going to find the center of this back piece. Remember, this is nine and a half inches wide. So this is going to be... Oops, my computer just stopped. <laughs> So this is nine and a half inches wide. So the center would be four and three quarters. And I, is that right? Four, yeah, four and three quarters. So I put a tick mark here for four and three quarters from here to here, and then four and three quarters here. And I just drew a line with pencil here. You don't need to do that, but I just like to see, does that look kind of centered? So my, my, Pencil mark is right down the center, so I know it's all lined up. Then what you're going to do is you're going to be applying this flap with the center here, with the center up there, and make sure the pointer here, down here, is matched up with the center line down there. So I got them matched up, I believe, and make sure this part is flat. So you have your gusset, but you're just going to be folding it on the half inch part. You're going to be placing it there, making sure this is lined up here. And make sure that's lined up there. That's pointing there. And you are just going to pull that score tape. I can get that. I have no nails. So make sure that is lined up. That's lined up. Push. And then you can reform your gusset. So that is going to be this flap like that. So now you have this. So now that you have this built, we are going to be adding magnets. So you're going to lift this flap up and I have two small basic gray magnets here. And the way I put them in is a half an inch. The edge is going to be a half an inch in from the side here and a half an inch down from about this point. So I just put a little X there. That's where my, that's where I'm going to put them. Then you're going to find their counterparts where you're going to put them. So I'm just using that black construction tape 
and putting it underneath those magnets. So now we're going to transfer, transfer these magnets down to these flaps. So hopefully, hopefully they will transfer. Let's see. Come on, transfer, transfer. Yes. So they've transferred down here. Now with this black construction tape, you can get those wrinkles out real easy. Um, I'm just not going to do it, but you can use any, you can use score tape to transfer too. So now we have our magnets in place. So now we can start adding designer paper. So now that you've made everything for page one, we just need to add the designer paper. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to get this paper from the 8x8 collection with the little hearts. You're going to be adding this to the flap here. So all you have to do, I'm using this scrap piece of paper, is this was three and three quarter inches wide. So you're just going to cut this one eighth of an inch less. So you're gonna cut that sheet of paper. So there you have your small reveal. So this is just three and three quarters minus one eighth of an inch. So you have your 16th inch reveal. And then you're gonna do the same thing on this piece of paper. You're going to find the midpoint, which I did right here. There's the midpoint. And you're gonna measure up one inch again, one inch. On both sides same thing draw your line from the dot here to the dot here and then you're just going to cut so I'm just going to use my scissors there to there there oops can't see me but I'm just cutting there to there And you're going to place your paper. Let's bring it up. There you're going to find the reveal that you like. And then you just go to the top and cut it. So, and you're going to do the same thing for the back side. But for the back side, you are going to be using, let's check which one, the green, the green polka dot. This is from the, um, um, 12 by 12 collection, this green paper. So you're going to be applying this. And just make sure, and you should be clear here, your magnets are up here. So this this piece, this journaling card on the back will be below these magnets and you should have plenty of clearance. So we got our designer paper on, then you're going to be applying this journal card. So you are going to get this and you are going to be mounting this on black card stock that it, this is going to be four by six inches. So this is four by six inches right there. You may need to do a little trimming of this card. I mean, just a little bit of trimming on the sides very little. And then make sure you round the corners again if you do trim it. Round the corners on the black card stock. I'm using white just for demonstration. Ink the edges. And then you're going to pretend this has been mounted on this 4x6 piece. You're going to be placing it over your um, front flap. So this is, you are going to be putting it Mine is, let me bring this up, see how far mine is. It is essentially three quarters of an, three quarters of an inch down from the top. So you can just measure three quarters of an inch down. 
three quarters of an inch down. I usually draw my line in pencil and that's going to be where I'm going to be adhering it like this. So I have a nice straight line. So do yours, um, adhere it down. Make sure this is centered. Find your center on this, this four by six, which would be three. You're gonna find your center, and that's where you're going to put it down. Now, what you, what you need to do also is, if you flip this over, you can just make your lines these are going to be your wings. You do not put tape or glue here. Only The only place you're going to put tape or glue is going to be within here. So put your tape or glue, find your center, and you're going to put that flap down. And on the back side, so you will then be having this black cardstock stick out here. Right? So, and it's You've cleared your magnets. These are where the magnets were. So there it is. Then you're going to find, I don't, I don't have mine. You're not, you're using the back of whatever um, journaling card this was. I picked this one. You're going to mat this also on a four by six black card stock. And you are going to put the whole thing, you're gonna glue, put glue or tape over the entire, the entire four by six black card stock and you are going to put that down. And so it'll just, you're just matching it up with the front card. And they should match up because they're the same size. So then you'll, you're going to be done with your flap. So the way you are going to do this page, I'm not going to go through all the cutting of the um, designer paper. I'll show you what to do and what I used. So I am using, this is patterns and solids here. And I believe this is patterns and solids. Yes, this is the patterns and solids also. So what I did is I put these solid blue pieces on the edges of here, right here. These are a half an inch. So you're going to put a half an inch border on each side. And that's going to be the a half an inch border on each side here of the blue solid from the patterns and solid. Then you're going to be um, getting this paper. You've already put in your blue stripes, remember? So you're gonna be getting this paper, which is from your patterns and solids. This one, the patterns and solids. And you are going to be fitting it, depending on um, your blue stripes, how they fit in. You will be placing this. Remember, everything is cut to seven and um, three eighths inches tall. So everything seven and three eighths inches tall. Everything is seven and three eighths inches tall. You measure yours from the blue stripe to this end, mine is like three and seven eighths, and ink the edges and put it in. But but you do your measurements, make sure everything lines up. You may have, um, your stripe may be a little centered, a little bit different than mine. So just do your measurements. And same thing on this side. Then the inside flaps, you're going to be doing the same thing, seven and three inches, seven and three eighths inches tall. 
you'll measure the width on this one. I have like four and what is it? Four and a quarter plus one it's tick mark. So you measure yours. This is from the 12 by 12 forget-me-not paper. I'm pretty sure it's the back side of this one. This is the 8 by 8 but I'm, it's the back side of this image. So you're going to put your, your forget-me-not from the 12 by 12 there, the forget-me-not on the other corresponding flap, and then you're going to go on the inside flaps and you are going to be cutting this piece of paper, which is from the 12 by 12 collection. This is from the patterns and solids. So these are just cut to fit in these areas. So, and remember, they're all the same height. So when we get to the center, our centerpiece, you will be, number one, you will be using this paper, which is from the 8x8 collection. And I use the entire 8 inches. Remember, this whole thing is 9.5 inches. We are going to be putting this entire 8x8 image here, cutting off at 7 and 3 inch, in, inches tall. And you're going to be centering this piece of paper in the middle, and then you'll have the space on the side because this is only eight inches wide. So then you're gonna have these blue, you're gonna have these spaces and you're gonna, you're gonna fill those spaces with your blue stripes. My blue stripes measure um, it's more than a half an inch, but it's less than three quarters of an inch. So it's, it's somewhere in between. You measure yours, depending on where you got your paper centered. So it's it should be less than three quarters, uh, but more than a half an inch. And do each one, measure each one. They're all the same height. And then you're basically done with everything. It's just adding that designer paper. So that's it for page one.